So, Medal of Honor. The news came down this last week from on high that EA is apparently changing the name of the enemy in the multiplayer component of the game from Taliban to Opposition Forces. <laughs> Kumbaya. Who could possibly have seen that coming, right? Aside from anyone with a functioning cerebellum. Quite a few of you have asked me to weigh in on this. Uh, and I figured it's ripe fodder for my first ever vlog. I've been meaning to do these for quite a while now. Just, you know, little videos that don't last very long with me just ranting about something off the top of my head. Because uh, in my opinion, one of the things that, that video game reviews lack nowadays is sort of spontaneity. And God knows that I'm never going to play this game long enough to be able to actually formulate a proper review. I mean, one look at this game's cover is enough to send me headlong into a blind, seething rage. I... Backwards baseball cap? Check. Nondescript tough guy assault rifle dangling nonchalantly even though you're purportedly in the middle of a motherfucking war zone? A check. Bad 90s sunglasses on clearance at Walgreens? That's a check. Horrible, unkempt beard mistakenly believed by the game designers will fool us into thinking the protagonist isn't yet another bald marine spouting weak-ass rejected Schwarzenegger one-liners? Check, please. I mean, I love you, Rageaholics, but if you think I'm riding that short bus in the immortal words of Judas Priest, go fuck yourself. But on to the subject of, uh, the whole Taliban thing. As usual, everyone just seems kind of... It's just too dense to really see what's really going on here. I don't mean to sound snobby or anything, but everyone seems a little too anxious to argue about politics with somebody anonymously over the internet and pretend watching a few episodes of The Daily Show while you're smoking a dime bag in your dorm room or up in your parents' attic means you know one fucking thing about politics. What you have to understand is this was never about politics or terrorism or the military even. This is about electronic arts. And Electronic Arts is o only ever about one thing, and that's money. I mean, EA hasn't made a shooter that's sold worth a shit since, I think, the original Battlefield 1942. So they, they decide that for the new Medal of Honor reboot, they'll take a page from Rockstar's book. You generate a childish controversy, say nothing of it while people argue about it on Fox News or CNBC for months, then at the 11th hour you make a complete reversal in the name of political correctness, to ensure the parents can buy it for the little 12-year-old kitties who want to buy the F the derivative FPS claptrap. I mean, I went on Destructoid, and I read some of the comments on this article, and people are too busy arguing about politics and political correctness to focus on the fact that gamers are yet again being treated like brain-dead Pavlovian children who will buy anything that reeks of controversy simply to be edgy and iconoclastic and ultimately to make their parents cranky. Yet again, we are being treated like retards. And you know what? If while discussing the whole Medal of Honor Taliban fiasco, you've ever launched into a diatribe about terrorism and politics, instead of seeing th straight through EA's profligate marketeering bullshit, you deserve to be treated like a retard. You're absolutely working to those cocksuckers' purpose. Every angry comment on GameFailers.com is like a free billboard for Medal of Honor. So just say nothing about it. Ignore it, and it'll go away. You guys are shrieking about politics when the real answer is looming right in front of your faces the entire time. EA is just a week away from releasing this bullshit. They didn't just make this change. They made this change months ago. Nobody is still programming a game a week before its release, you fucking dolts. You think it's coincidental they just happen to be announcing that the Taliban's no longer featured in the game at this very moment? I mean... Just in time for GameStop's midnight release? If you buy this game, not only do you have abysmal taste, but congratulations on being part of the fucking problem. That's my rant. I hope you all enjoyed being told to take a long walk off a short cliff. <laughs> I'm Razorfest. God fucking speed.